Hello, hello, everyone. Today, I have 10 packing tips for you if you're going to Guatemala. Now, if you haven't seen my video about me staying with a host family this past May, check that out above. But whether you're staying with a host family or you're going to be staying in an Airbnb or anything else in between, these are 10 packing tips that is sure to make a difference in your stay. But before we get into that, Welcome to the Taylor Times. My name is Devin Taylor. I am the boss lady of the Taylor family. And on this channel, we explore my journey to Spanish fluency, travel that we do as a family, homeschool, part-time living abroad. Like we're planning a part-time live abroad scenario. So we look at that as well. And sometimes I share things about my journey as a Reiki master teacher and spirituality. Also, sipping coffee which is my favorite thing to do. We'll be doing that as well. All right, let's get started. So today I'm going to share my screen on some things and show you what it looks like, where I got it from, other things I just have with me. So let's jump right in, okay? I have my list per usual. First thing is going to be meds and vitamins. I decided to put this in one category, but I'm going to list a few things specifically that you may need, okay? Emergency. Everybody knows what the emergency packets look like. You're going to need that. Um, some of these meds that I'm going to talk about, you may not use, but if you have to use them, you will be glad you did. So after a plane ride, and usually when I travel, I like to take emergency. It just helps boost my Im immune system. <laughs> It helps to boost my immune system, gives me a little energy kick. And if I start to feel a little sniffly or whatever it is when I'm in a different climate or environment, emergency usually does the trick for me. So emergency, number two, two uh, under number one, <laughs> the second thing under number one is activated charcoal. Activated charcoal, if you don't know, it is something super good if you get like food poisoning or anything going on with your tummy and it helps absorb like toxins and bad stuff, whatever you had going on. Now, I got sick uh, two days before I left Guatemala after we did this beautiful sunrise hike on this mountain. Um, I got sick later on that day and I was sick for 24 hours with this nasty stomach situation. OK, so I was happy that I had this on hand, activated charcoal. I had chewable Pepto-Bismol tabs. I also took Benadryl. That's another thing that you may want or any other type of allergy medicine that you prefer. If you usually take allergy medicine at home, take some allergy medicine with you. And whatever vitamins that you normally take, your daily multivitamin, have that with you as well. And any specialty vitamins you use. I use magnesium sometimes, but I made sure to take it with me on my trip because um, I didn't want to be looking for it if I decided that I needed it. Okay. Now, if you get sick in Guatemala and you need certain things, you will be able to find this at a local pharmacy, a local, um, they have, uh, pharmacies. It's like a little storefront, you know, type thing. I was in San Pedro, San Pedro La Laguna. And, they had like the little pharmacy storefront things. But if you are sick the way I was, you ain't going to make it to the pharmacy. You're going to only have time to make it to the bathroom and back to your bed. So having it with you is going to be a bonus. OK, take it with take it with you. Trust me. Take it with you. All right. The second thing, this is going to seem super trivial. But you're going to need it. Alcohol pads, the little alcohol prep pads. I should have brought them in here with me. But if you need, if you get a cut, if you get um, a bug bite or something and you just want to put some alcohol on it, have some alcohol little pads with you, a few. Because if you don't and you go out and try to find these at the storefront pharmacies, they are going to cost you around 10 Kate Salas. Now, Kate Salas. That is the Guatemalan currency. And it's about seven Kate Salas to one USD. So you're going to pay a little over $1 for that little pack that has the two alcohol prep pads that you can tear apart. No, I didn't need it that bad. I wanted some for a bug bite, but I was like, no, forget it. I don't want them. <laughs> I'm not trying to pay that. So 
consider bringing some alcohol prep pads, guys, with the little medicine stuff that we talked about. Number three, I'm going to share my screen now. I'm going to start sharing my screen for this because this is going to be super important. All right, number three, you want to have with you some portable toilet paper because when you do find toilet paper, say at a restaurant, um, if, if there is toilet paper in the bathroom, say at a restaurant or um, a store, wherever you are, it may be one ply or it may be no toilet paper there. And if you have a little toilet paper to go, a little to go situation with you, you will be glad you did. And this was a lifesaver because we had to pass it around the group on the way back to the airport because it's like a four hour ride from Guatemala City to San Pedro. So when we had to stop and use the bathroom, if it's like a little bathroom next to the gas station, it's sometimes usually not gonna be tissue in there and you will need Toilet paper. This is what you need. So have you some to-go tissue, okay? The next thing you need to have is a refillable water bottle. This is the one I took and it's only 16 ounces. It's actually marketed for kids. I got it at Walmart. It's only 16 ounces, but I loved it because it had this handle that's big enough to carry. I could um, run my fanny pack strap through it and clip it on myself if I wanted to. And I just really liked it. It wasn't too heavy, wasn't too big and bulky. And I like because you can sip with the straw or you can chug. You put the straw down and you can chug. So this is cool. I got this from Walmart. Again, marketed towards kids, 16 ounces. And it was just like $5. And I like the colors. It's cute. You will find storefronts and shops that will have like refillable um, water stations where you can refill your water bottle. Um, if you ask somebody, they'll let you. If you're staying with a host family, you'll be able to refill your water bottle with the water they provide because you cannot drink the water in Guatemala. You cannot drink it. OK, we're going to give another tip too in a minute that's relating to water. You can't drink the water. So you need to have a refillable water bottle. And even if you're at an Airbnb, great. Re you know, fill your water bottle up before you go out for the day. All right. So now, guys, I'm on tip four. This is tip four. Tip 10 is like the most important thing you will need. So make sure you stick around to see what that is. All right. And let's move on to tip number five, shower shoes. You will need shower shoes. What I did is I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought a pair of flip flops from the Dollar Tree and took them with me. So therefore, I only paid $1.25. It's really the $1.25 tree now. Okay, that's what I call it. So once, you know, they're not great, the greatest quality. So before I left Guatemala, I just threw them in the trash. One less thing that I had to fit back into my suitcase, but you will need shower shoes regardless of where you stay. Unless you just don't care about your feet. <laughs> All right, number six, fanny pack or book bag of some sort that like folds, you know. I had fanny packs because I like fanny packs when I travel and when I hike and stuff. This is the one I took. It's a totes brand. I got this years ago. I don't know where I got this thing. It's adjustable. It's got like lots of zippers, compartments. I could tuck away Kate Solis right here and hide them from myself. <laughs> and it's got a big part. So some type of fanny pack. And my friend, she did purchase one um, for the trip and she loved it and enjoyed wearing it. You're walking and doing different things. It's just the perfect way to keep your stuff on you accessible and not have a bag swinging around. It just keeps things safer as well. Now, because I was there studying abroad, right? I'm studying Spanish there. I took my collapsible Nike book bag. This is also something I've had for years. I took this drawstring situation because when I went to school every day, I could put my flashcards in here that I brought with me from home, like note cards, so that I could add more note cards to it, my folder, whatever else I was taking that day. And I could just throw my fanny pack in here if I wanted to. And then when we got back to the host house for uh, the end of the day, I could just take my fanny pack out and leave all my school stuff in here. And then my luggage, this folded down very little. So I packed it in my carry-on, whatever. I only used a carry-on. I used a carry-on and a shoulder bag because you're allowed those two things on Delta. And that's what I took. I didn't have any check luggage for nine days. And I did, y'all. I did. If you got questions about that, ask me below what I use to shrink all of my stuff to fit it into a carry-on and a shoulder bag for nine days, being a woman. Okay? Ask me about that. All right. The next thing 
oops, excuse me, is a shareable situation. I'm going to share that screen again. All right, that's that. Next thing, hydration packs. My friend had these with her because she needed to have extra hydration and not having to pump 30 more ounces of water into herself. She used these and she loved it. She was glad that she brought them. They saved the day. I drank Guatemala's equivalent to Gatorade while I was there when I was sick and before I got sick. But having these would be a lifesaver for you again if you get into a situation where you're sick and you don't want to go out. I happen to go with a group. So people were able to go out and get things for me if I needed it. But this right here is going to be perfect. It is a 10 count and it's pricey for 10, but you're going to wish you had something like this if you need it and you can't get to the store. Okay. They had lemon lime flavor, watermelon, and it's called liquid IV. All right. Number nine, guys, we're at number nine. We're almost there. Stick around. Don't give up on this. Okay. Number nine. I did not have this. I'm leaning in. I didn't have this, but it's something that I wish I would have had because you cannot drink the water in Guatemala. You need to brush your teeth with bottled water, with filtered water. If you had something like this, now this is collapsible, so it would fit great in your luggage. I would have given up a pair of shoes to take this in my space, in my packing space. I love this because you can pick between two and a half gallons all the way up to eight all the way up to 5.3 gallons. Something like this, you could put it in the bathroom and you would be able to use it, like use the spout version of it, like right in here, see the little spout version to um, wet your toothbrush, wet your face cloth, wash your face because many people in my group started to break out on their face from the water, possibly the water combination of just hot, sweaty and washing their face with the water that comes out of the tap. So they started using the bottled water. My friend I know in particular started using the bottled water for her face and it made a really big difference. So this would be something great to have, especially if you're going to go with children. You need something like this that can, um, that you can, you know, get the water out easily. This is also a different version. This is probably the version I would choose. This is pretty cool. I like uh, the way this bag is designed and it seems like it would fold better for me. Both BPA free food grade plastic situations. And I would probably use something like this myself and I could hang it. Like I took um, some rope with me and like clothes pins if I ended up needing to wash clothes, which I didn't because I took enough for the whole time. But with this, you could hang it from somewhere or whatever, or just sit it on whatever surface that's available to you. And obviously it pours if you want to drink out of it, like fill a cup like that, or you can use the little spigot to be able to get the water, the little spout to get it out, to brush your teeth and to wash your face. This is something I wish I would have taken, but I didn't. Okay. Now, last thing on my list Number 10, and I have a bonus thing, so don't go anywhere. Don't go just yet. I have a bonus thing. This is something that my best friend bought, and we needed this every day. We needed this item every day. Ready? Disposable washcloths, okay? Our host family only provided bath towels, but we use washcloths. All right, we use washcloths for our body, for our face. She brought this 24 count and it was enough for her and I to share for the time that we were there. Now, the face, the they are very thick. Now, she searched Amazon, read reviews, and this was the best ones that she came up with. Like, they are compressed. So as you can see in this photo, they're really little. They're little, but when you add water to them, they enlarge, they expand. You see that? 
add your water. That's how thick they are at first. Then you add your water and then they come out to be a hand sized washcloth. What is really good about these is that they are really thick. They feel really lush. It's not a lot of lint coming off of them being left on your face. I didn't have any lint coming off being on my face. So no lint, great and safe for sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin. My friend has sensitive skin. You could see here how big these fold out to be once you add water, okay? These were the lifesavers and only $8.39. These are perfect, not only just for travel to Guatemala, but travel anywhere. These little things are just, these were lifesavers, okay? You have to have these. If you don't get nothing else on this list, get that in that uh, collapsible water jug and that reusable toilet paper. Get that, okay? Thank you so much for being here so far. Another perfect time to go ahead and like the video. If anything on my list from one to 10, if you found value in anything, please like the video so that YouTube knows that this information is valuable. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content and uh, hit the notification bell for the next time I post a video. All right, last thing, bonus. <laughs> This is for the people out there like me. If you've had any type of injury in the past, take your devices that you need, your assistive devices with you. There are hills and inclines in Guatemala. You will be doing walking in Guatemala. Even if you used to um, hail a tuk-tuk, <laughs> I don't know, stop, then you still will do some walking. I took my knee brace. It's just like a soft foldable thing that I just slide on my leg and slide up to my knee. I took that. I also had my back brace with me because I've had injuries. Remember, law enforcement, military, I've had injuries. So I took my back brace with me, but I did not need that. But I did need that knee brace because the stairs at the host family, uh, I was on the second floor. So I had to take two flights of stairs every day to get to my room. And the bathroom I used was downstairs. So I had to take those same two flights down. And when I hiked that mountain, Indian Nose Mountain. When I hiked that mountain, I needed that knee brace. It was the one thing that let me, allowed me to be able to do all the things I wanted to do physically. Another good thing you can take is something called KT tape. If you don't know about KT tape, Google. KT tape is wonderful. I was going to take it, but I couldn't find mine. That's something you can use on various parts of your body, different techniques to support your joints, so that you can do the things you want to do physically while you're in Guatemala, because you'll have plenty of opportunities to explore. Okay, that's the list. That's all. I hope this video is not too long, but I also hope that you found value. If there's anything on my list that didn't occur to you and you like I didn't tip, tell me what it was down below in the comments. Again, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.